Hey guys, Richard of Fishing Auto Channel and Reese.com and today I'm with my buddy Tommy over here at Worldwide Corals and we're gonna take you through our day. Check it out. Tell me a little bit about your pond. How big is this and what's in it? Well, hi Richard. Hi. <laughs> okay, it's about this big, right? Right. Uh, it's, <laughs> I think it's 11 feet long and about four feet wide and about roughly 18 inches deep. And I think I calculated it at around 500 gallons. Somebody can do the math. And, see whether I've given some of those dimensions incorrectly, but I know when I actually measured it and calculated it, it was about 500 gallons. Yeah, as you just mentioned, Richard, you remember seeing this as a great big hole by my front door for a long time. Um, I dug the, the area out myself. Originally when we bought the house, it was just sand there. And when I, you know, I looked at that spot, I had said to my wife, gee, that would be a great spot to put a pond. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to make it salt water or fresh water and I figured let me try salt water first and see how bad the temperature management is. And uh, it turned out it, because it's in the ground uh, it's not too bad. I do need a chiller. I did run it for, for several years without one. I, you know, th This is not a reef aquarium. It was intended from the start to be you know, mangrove, seagrass and a lot of sand and near shore things so I wasn't too worried about the temperature getting significantly higher than in a typical home aquarium but um, last year it got so hot that I decided you know what let me put a chiller on it so I maintain it now with the chiller at 84 degrees uh, without the chiller it was getting up to 98 degrees so that that's too hot in winter time um, Obviously the climate is fairly mild in Miami, but we do get cold fronts that'll go down into the 40s, sometimes even the upper 30s. So do you put like styrofoam on top just to keep I, the temperature? I have exercise mats, the, the foam, EVA foam exercise mats that I, yeah. when I hear a front is coming, I cover it and I put heaters in um, gotcha. as well. So between the heaters and, and the mats, I, I keep it from getting too crazy. Gotcha. It goes down to you know maybe 65 degrees or so in gotcha. winter on a, on a good cold front. Gotcha. And then quick question is because this is an open uh, element, when it rains and such, and you know and over here we do have we do get a lot of rain. Yes. How do you maintain salinity? The design of the system takes care of a lot uh, a lot of that. You'll notice that the water is not zipping around like in a reef tank. Again, right. it's not a reef tank. It's very calm. Uh, so what happens when it rains is the fresh water floats on top right. and it goes over the overflow and the sump itself has an overflow. So a lot of that fresh water just rolls right out. It, it, um, it doesn't end up mixing with the tank. That's not true if you get heavy rain for multiple days in a row. When that happens, then I have to add salt. Um, gotcha. And that has happened several times. Uh, during the course of maintaining the pond, and it's not a big deal. Um, I, you know, I just basically bring a bag of salt, sometimes two, yeah. um, and with a bucket make a brine um, and slowly pour it in into the sump and and let it mix mix it. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, when you had that temperature spike go up, did your clams or any other corals lose any like zooxanthellae or anything like that? I did bleaching in the clams. Yeah, when it when it in, went into the 90s, the upper 90s. Right. Um, the green duresa really, really bleached. I have pictures of that on my phone. I could find that. And, Ooh, and awesome. Show you, but um, yeah. Uh, so I didn't have all of these clams right. at that time, but um, actually many of them. Probably most of them were here, yeah. um, and the only one that really suffered hard was that the green, the green duressa. And how how long has this pond been set up? You know, I don't remember the exact date. <laughs> um, it was running when we had the Hurricane Irma, right? So that was 2017, and it was not new at that time. So I'm gonna guess that it. 
probably sometime in 2016 is when I really formally gotcha, got gotcha. it going. And it looks like you got a lot of different fish in there too. Looks like you got a bangai. Yeah, there are bangai cardinals. There's some uh, damselfish. Yeah. There's a, a wrasse and a uh, purple tang. Oh, purple tang in there. Yeah. Huh. Okay. There was a purple tang that was uh, getting beat beat up and mm -hmm. not getting enough food, so it got the typical um, eroded fins and lateral line erosion. Gotcha. Um, this was in a, a smaller tank, and so I took it out of that uh, inhospitable situation and <laughs> right, put it right. here, and it completely recovered. So that's uh, awesome. I'm very happy with that. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for Ju Julian You're for welcome. showing me around. <laughs> pleasure so yeah I, I need to trim this so, mm -hmm. uh
Richard and taking a, a nice tour of my aquariums and looking at all the mangroves. Um, I just wanted to mention that uh, my company is Two Little Fishies. Um, Two Little Fishies does not have mangroves as, as a product. That's just been my uh, crazy passion for years while running Two Little Fishies. Um, but you can certainly contact me if you're interested in mangroves and, and I'm sure I can help you out. Uh, Two Little Fishies manufactures all kinds of products uh, for either fresh or salt water, but mainly salt water aquariums. We make synthetic seawater mix, Accuracy One. Uh, we make all kinds of accessories and water conditioners and foods, um, filters, filter media. Take a look at twolittlefishies.com and you can see the kinds of things that uh, we do every day. Um, It'd be great to see you if you come out to Reef of Palooza or one of the other uh, trade shows uh, where we exhibit. Um, and then oftentimes I bring these mangroves with me. That's a good, good place to find them. I, I look forward to seeing what they do with this, this tree. Um, nice and healthy, beautiful. Look at that root mat. There's no, no soil at all. That's entirely roots. Uh, it's mangrove peat. Okay, so long. It's been real. Wonderful sharing uh, my aquariums with you. Hope you enjoy that. Ask me questions. See if I answer. <laughs>